Of course that's your contention. You're a first year grad student. You just got finished reading some Marxian historian, Pete Garrison probably. You're going to be convinced of that till next month when you get to James Lemon. And then you're going to be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. That's going to last until next year. And then you're going to be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood, talking about, you know, the, the, the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization. And let me take a guess, you're going to tell me that Wood drastically underestimates the impacts of social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth? Yeah, you got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read that too. Were you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us or do you have any thoughts of your own on this matter? <laughs> or do you just, is, is that your thing? Is that your thing? You just come into a bar and you read some, some obscure passage and then you know you pretend, you point it off as, as your own idea just to try and impress some girls and, and embarrass my friend? You see, the sad thing about a guy like you is that in 50 years, you're going to start doing some thinking of your own. And you're going to come up with the fact that there are two certainties in life. One, don't do that. And two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education that you could have got for $1.50 in late charges at the public library. <laughs>